Alrighty, hosses, welcome back to another video. And in this tutorial, actually in the next couple tutorials, I'm gonna talk to you guys about drawing graphics on the screen. And probably like the next two or three videos are just gonna be drawing simple shapes, lines. I'm gonna show you guys like in this video how to draw a green line. And if you guys are like, all right, that sounds pretty boring, so I'm gonna skip these videos. I can't picture in my app when I'm gonna need a stinking green line in it. Well, not so fast because the concepts I'm gonna be teaching you guys in the next couple of videos, they seem really simple and you may think that you're never gonna use them, but later on when we learn how to make things like computer games or well games for like the iPad or iPhone, whatever, all of these concepts that I'm gonna be showing you guys, they come into play and you need them to understand the bigger picture. So again, even though these next couple examples are gonna be like, okay, a red circle, nothing cool about that. Later on when we're making games, trust me, you will thank me. So what I did already is I made a brand new project. I just named it Draw Examples and uh, just a single view application. I set the devices to universal, nothing new. And the first thing I actually wanna do is this. I'm gonna make an entirely new file specifically for drawing. So we're really not gonna be using this view controller too much. So if you right click, draw examples or whatever you named your project, you can hit new file. And what we wanna do, let me, oh, I guess you can't move that down. All right, so in iOS source, choose Coco touch class and click next. Now, what am I gonna name that? Just, uh, I don't know, I just draw examples. Keep things really simple. All right, so another thing I wanna point out, make sure that you inherit from UI view. I think this is something, it might be UI view controller by default. UI view is the class that we wanna inherit from, so we're gonna be a subclass of that. And of course, we're working with Swift next, and the default location is good. Great and boom so it should appear right here again if you click this folder then it'll um put it in the right place if you didn't then go back and do it again but here we go as you can see well i'll explain this later but for now what we need to do is we need to hook up our screen to this so if you hop over to your storyboard then we can actually keep this by default because we'll just run our simulator to show whatever we want but what we want to do is with your storyboard selected go to the identity inspector and make sure that you have your view selected so click somewhere in this white area and change the class to draw examples or whatever you named that class so all right we created a class we now hooked up this view to it and we should be good so if you go back to Draw examples .swift, then check this out. First of all, I'm gonna delete all these top comments because they're annoying me. And for here it says, okay, only override draw rect if you perform custom drawing. Well, that's what we wanna do. So let's go ahead and delete these right now. So I'm gonna delete this first comment right there. And it gave you like kind of a comment within a comment, so we can actually just delete all the comments. There we go. And if you accidentally deleted that, then you can just type it out. But it gives you this one method by default, this one function in here. So what the heck is it? Draw rect. All right. So all I can do in here is draw a bunch of rectangles. Uh, that's kind of dumb. Well, believe it or not, draw rect, it isn't for drawing rectangles. It's for any drawing or any graphics that you wanna add, you can um, write a method, and I'm gonna show you guys in just a second, inside this function. So we can, of course, we can draw rectangles if we want to in here, but we can also draw circles and lines, and we can draw, um, what else? Like, we can actually put images in here, like I can put an image of my face and draw it on the screen. Um, cool things for games so they can interact with each other. Everything is gonna go inside this draw rect method. So how do we draw crap on the screen? Well, it's kind of, um, I don't wanna say like a three-step process, but the first thing we always need to do is get a context. Now, I'll just write this. 
the context is the object used for drawing. What do I mean by that? Well, we need to draw something on the screen and it's like, okay, I, you have to give me like some information of what you want to draw. Do you want to draw something blue? Do you want it to be a line, a square? Your context is where you set all of that. So in this example, I'm going to get the context and we'll just give it some basic settings like set the width of it to, I don't know, like three points and set the stroke to like green or blue, whatever. But it's kind of like a really fancy paintbrush that you can draw cool crap, crap with. But it's, I say really fancy because you can use it to draw like pictures and stuff too. So if you just make a variable called context, what you do is you set this equal to UI graphics get current context right there so what this does ugh, what this does is it just gives you um a customizable object or that really fancy paintbrush and it is now stored in context so once you have that right now it's just blank it doesn't have any settings whatsoever so let's go ahead and apply a couple settings to it so it knows how to draw so the first one is cg context I hate there. There's so many methods of context set line width. So of course this is going to say, okay, first of all, what are you trying to set it on the context and what is the width of it? And we'll just say 3.0. Um, don't go like above seven or else it's going to be really thick. 3.0 is pretty good. Should show up good on the tutorials. So now we can draw lines with three point thickness. So let's go ahead and give it a color right now. So CG and this is set stroke color with color right there. So what this does is it gives a color to our context, which is our drawing object and the color. This is actually kind of weird. It's UI color dot and what color do I want? Let's go. I don't know purple color why the heck not there's like purple color green color red color blue color pretty much all the ones you want to think of and later on if you guys are like well I kind of have a weird color to like match the background of my website that I'm trying to draw I'll show you guys how to set RGB values if you need to be more specific but for right now you can just like choose red purple whatever and the last thing is we need to make sure that this is a CG color property right like that so now we have our paintbrush taken care of that context that's three thickness, three points, and it's purple. So now it, whatever we draw, it's going to be that setting. So the first thing we have to do to draw this is we need to give it a path. So this is going to sound weird, but what we're going to do is we're going to make an invisible path first. And then the next step we have to say, okay, fill this in. So it's not like in real life where you do it all at the same time. You're pretty much making a blueprint of where you want to draw. And then you say, okay, now fill it in. So I'll just write create a path right there. And it's CG context move to point. So right now we're just giving it a starting point and it's really simple. So what are you trying to move that context? And where are you trying to move it? Well, let me just go ahead and put it at 50, 60. Now, here's a good time to explain the coordinate system. So it's, I know like what annoys me is that every single like um, software or programming language I teach, whenever I'm drawing stuff on the screen, the coordinate system is always different. But this coordinate system, it starts in the top left. So 50, 50, just imagine that this is our screen right here. So zero, zero would be right here, 50 points over and 60 points down. That's our starting point. So again, it starts in the top left and it goes right and then down. So if we just said zero, zero right here, which might as well just do that for right here, it's going to start right here. So now let me um, give it an ending point and that is CG context add a line to point. So what this does is it makes a straight line from wherever it currently is to a new point on the screen. So from zero, zero to 
to we'll say like um we'll go 250 across and 320 down so now we have kind of a diagonal line that looks like this kind of a 45 degree angle but not quite so now that we have that invisible path we can do the one last line of code actually draw the path and that is CG Wow, I cannot freaking type. Context. Okay, you know what? I'm going to drop kick my computer in like two seconds. Context. Stroke. Path. And now it's saying, okay, what this method does is it just actually draws the line. What line are you trying to draw? Well, that context one. And the reason that we need to add this parameter is because if we, I don't know, made another line or something, it wouldn't be able to differentiate between them. So now I'm just gonna tighten this bad boy up, switch to iPhone 5, and draw it. And hopefully it works. All right. So check this out. We gave it a purple color. We started at 00, zero which was the top left, and it went over 250, down 320, and once it had that path, this last line, it filled it in. So just so this is a little bit easier to see, let me start it like, Actually, let me start at like 30, 30. 30, 30, and I'll go to like uh, 150, 320. All right, so 30 over, 30 down. That's our starting point. 150 over, 320 down. That's our ending point. So I know that all of this is a little overwhelming at first. It's like context and then everything goes in a draw rect for some reason, even though we aren't even drawing rectangles. But I promise um, we're gonna be focusing on this topic a lot. So if you feel overwhelmed and now, it actually gets a lot easier. That was probably the hardest tutorial with this little mini series. So for now, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see y'all in the next video.